Welcome to another Matia Calculus tutorial. By now you guys should have a solid understanding of Taylor polynomials and series. And you should know that the more terms you add on, the more accurate the estimation becomes. And eventually when you have an infinite amount of terms, the approximation equals the actual function value. But it's not always possible to reach the infinite term. And in those situations we can only go to a certain polynomial, a nth degree polynomial. Now, how do we know if that how accurate that polynomial is? A mathematician named Lagrange discovered the Lagrange error bound, which basically states the maximum value of a Taylor polynomial. And what the formula he came up with was that the remainder, or the max error, is less than or equal to the next term in the Taylor polynomial. Sometimes you'll see this notated as m over n plus 1 factorial times x minus a to the n plus 1. And what this basically states is that the x value you plug in for the left-hand term can be different than the, left -hand, than the value for x that you plug in for the right-hand term. And that is because you're trying to maximize this number. You're trying to make this number as large as possible. Let's look at this in an example. So, you're given the third degree polynomial of sine of x, which is, of course, x minus x cubed over 3. And you're asked to find the max error when x is between point 0.1 and 0.1 and 0. So, looking at the formula, the remainder is less than or equal to the fourth derivative at some point c over 4 factorial times x minus a to the fourth power. We know that this function is centered at x equals 0. So, a equals 0. We can also find the fourth derivative of the original function, sine of x. So, the original function value of sine of x. And if you keep taking derivatives, you will eventually get equals sine of x. So now we can plug these values into the formula. So the remainder is less than or equal to the sine of x of 4 factorial times x to the fourth. Now this is really an x minus 0, but it really doesn't matter. So we can now plug in values of x into this formula within the domain 0 to 0 0.1. So Again, we're trying to maximize this value, so we're trying to make this number as large as possible, and we're trying to make this number as large as possible. Sine of x is as large as possible when x is 0 0.1. So sine of 0 0.1 over 4 factorial times when this is as large as possible, x is again 0 0.1. 0 0.1 to the fourth, which you'll eventually get to be equal to 4.160 times 10 to the negative seventh. So what you've basically done here is said that the third degree Taylor polynomial estimation of sine of x varies from the actual function on 0 2.1 by at most 4.160 times 10 to the negative seventh. On an any day, I would say that's an excellent approximation. Thank you for watching.